Okay, so good, um, good morning, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mathieu Fazani. I am the uh, product manager uh, for Brio and Amberfin platforms at Dalet, which are the media processing and input output platforms from Dalet. So today, um, I'd like to um, give a few words about Films Capture um, in a hybrid SDI IP world. Um, and as you know, we are all facing uh, new challenges in the industry to um, virtualize uh, components, including the ingest. And Films has a very uh, nice uh, proposal to cope with those new challenges. So I will start very quickly by just uh, some basics about Films, as you might not know um, what Films means. So it stands for Framework for Interoperable Media Services. It's a joint initiative from EBU and AMWA um, that you uh, know pretty well. Um, what are the, the motivations behind this uh, initiative? Um, there are basically um, four of them, I would say. Um, the first one is the ability to decouple the orchestration layer from the media services. So when you build a new architecture, usually you have um, a master, a, a chief, which will command and assign the task to different um, processes. And today, when you look at the um, architecture, uh, which are not SOA, so not, which have not been designed in a service-oriented architecture approach, you will see that all the functions, the capture, transform, transfer operations are all linked together. So the purpose of um, themes is to provide some guidelines and a framework to be able to decouple the orchestration layer from the media services, um, to decouple the media functions, so to have dedicated communication layers between the orchestration system and each function, each capture device, each transform device, each transfer service. This will minimize the integration effort, and this is the um, scalability and the evolution of the um, media architectures for uh, post-production companies, for uh, broadcasters, for any company involved in media production. So in a few words, FIMS provides a framework to ease the implementation of service-oriented systems for media. It defines a data model to um, specify um, how to structure and describe an asset. It describes a set of standard interfaces to manipulate them, capture, so to ingest an IP stream or an SDI stream, transfer to move medias, um, transform to transform them, transcode them, and a repository, which is the um, interface to get information about an asset or modify it. Themes also brings a vision for the uh, next year so that this architecture concept will um, follow and will support all the new challenges of the industry. Scalability, agility, um, supporting virtual environments. So it's a win-win approach for both media companies and vendors. Um, from a vendor perspective, if you are a um, um, hardware manufacturer of a video server, let's say, um, what you want to do is not to spend all your time trying to specify um, the interface. You want to add more and more functionalities to the product, core functionalities like new formats, supporting 4K UHD, and you don't want to spend time on the integration. So what you want to do is to have an out-of-the-box standard which helps you to expose all the functionalities of your system um, to the customers, and that's what Films Capture uh, provides. It reduces the custom interfaces, which are uh, expensive to maintain and to support, and it simplifies also the integration. So that's a win-win approach, and that is specifically interesting for all the vendor. If you look at, if you um, remember VDCP, that was the purpose of VDCP, but VDCP now is a bit in the past, so we need to renew it and to build something which is um, future-proof. For a media company perspective, it's easier if there is again a standard interface. It will allow to build the best of grid architecture by choosing the best ingest device or picking some of them, knowing that they will all support the same standard interface. So if we now uh, make a focus on Films Capture, um, there are some questions that um, any user will ask. So where is my ingest channel, my ingest device? It can run on-premise, it can run off-site, and this raises some questions regarding the architecture itself. If my ingest device is off-site, do I have the right network communication to control this device? Do I have the right network ports open for my um, automation system to control it? 
who is the owner of my ingest channel? Is it fully on-premise? Is it running as software as a service? This also will raise some uh, complexities in the uh, communication, in the interface between the orchestration layer and the um, capture media function. Which technology to use? Today there are plenty of capture devices. They all have their own um, proprietary interfaces and if you want to change from one brand to another, then you have to integrate it again. So it will it increases the cost of maintenance and it's not easy to, um, to, to, to be agile and to support new functionalities. And finally, the video source type, as you know, is moving from a BNC cable to an, I, to an RG45 cable. So we also want the capture device to support um, IP streams without having to re-implement an API for that matter. So Films Capture is here to help on that and to define a common interface to control um, the ingest operations. It is independent of the video server, the product or the brand. It's, not, it's independent of the video source type. It can support IP stream or SDI streams. It's independent of the location. It uses web service calls, so HTTP protocol, which can go through any firewall. Uh, it's independent of the owner as well. So that gives the flexibility to um, build an architecture for ingest, and you will have the orchestration system on one side, the video server on the other side, and the standard interface between them, which is defined by Themes Capture um, service. So if we look at the details, uh, Themes Capture comes, you can implement it with two different implementations, SOAP or REST. It has a full extended documentation available, and the latest version is the version 1.2. Um, if you implement Films Capture, you will find four, five different operations. Capture, a manage job, query job, notify capture result and notify fault. And for each operation, you have a number of messages. So if I want to trigger a capture, I will send a capture request message. I will receive a capture acknowledgement message. And this is how we manage my job. Quite easy. And all the information is already structured in this interface. Um, when sending and triggering an ingest, uh, we can define different templates that will describe the operations. And for each operation, when we're triggering an ingest, we can define one or n profiles. And for each profile, we'll have one transform atom, which will define the format, and one transfer atom, which will define the destination, where to ingest the file. So that shows a part of the data model specified in Films. So one application that we've uh, implemented in Dalet very recently to uh, to show to customers how this can be applied is to implement Inbrio, which is the input-output platform, uh, which, which didn't have any web service API so far, and we wanted to expose the functionalities using a standard interface. So we've implemented Themes Capture version 1.1, and we've implemented a plugin in Adobe Premiere and Adobe Anywhere, which communicates with Brio using Themes. So actually what it does is from Adobe Premiere, you can trigger an ingest, get a stream coming back from the server, and everything is done using Themes Capture with the, um, um, the uh, specification and the standard defined by Themes. In addition to that, that allows to bring and to build some uh, large high-density ingest architecture where we can mix IP and baseband ingest and everything can be controlled by Themes Capture. Um, so we've done an implementation of Themes Capture version 1.1, we've made a REST implementation, and we have an online documentation so that any uh, user buying Brio or wanting to buy a Brio will find all the details of the implementation online uh, using a web browser with all the specification on how to implement it and send the right um, API calls. So that was just an explanation on how Themes Capture can um, help you to uh, standardize the communication between an orchestration layer and an ingest device. And uh, we'll be happy to show you more on the Dalet booth or on the EBU booth. Thank you.